another full tour video. Um, today I'm going to be showing you around this new surf from New Venture Motorhomes. This is based on a 2018 Citroen Blingo, so this is a used vehicle and we've put a brand new conversion on the back. Now you might have seen one of the videos of these before which was a side door, but this is a rear door model. Uh, we'll have a walk round first, show you what the exterior looks like. We've got uh, utility lights up there, we've got the, uh, the inlet for the water and obviously the fridge vents and the gas compartment there as well. Two sites, double glazed windows, one in the lounge area and one in the kitchen area. Moving around the back, uh, we've got the light there over the door, which also acts as like a, a drip mold, if you will, uh, keep the rain off the back door. We've got a, a D bar, D handle bar there, what uh, obviously helping to, to get in and out, and obviously for security as well. And we've got the electric step down at the bottom. Again, we've got the, uh, the bathroom window there and uh, the other lounge where we've got another utility light and we've got the door down there for the um, for the toilet uh, we've got waste outlet um, drain off tap there as well moving further along we've got the uh, the 240 hookup and the heat vent for the for the heating system let's have a quick look at the cab this one um, the customer has requested to keep the double seat at the front which we've had uh, upholstered to match, obviously the, the upholstery in the back. Uh, so we've got both, or all three seats should I say, upholstered and matching at the front. And the dashboard is slightly different on this one, we've got the full screen there. Uh, six speed gearbox. Nice looking dashboard anyway. We'll make our way around now uh, to the conversion side. This is a Euro 6 one as well, um, which we had to have a, a new uh, inlet there for housing for the, the filler. So we've got the add blue and the fuel filler point there as well. So this, this isn't um, the normal door that we fit. Obviously this is a, a burn door set up with two windows, um, one top, one bottom and they're going to use this one obviously for, for looking out of when they're driving um, so open this one up we've got the um, the blinds over both as well so they're blacked out at night time so let's get the uh, the step retracted so immediately as you come to the conversion you've got the kitchen to one side and we've got the shower compartment on this side, quickly show you in here. Window in there, and obviously plenty of storage up at the, at the top there. Got the uh, the tip up sink and the uh, the toilet there as well. Just uh, click the lights on. Light, nice corner light, uh, corner mirror feature with the light. Uh, all the way around. So for a vehicle this size to, to have a shower in, uh, it is unusual, but we the, the customers requested it uh, and that's what we've done for them. I'll shut this door. So kitchen area. We've got four burner hob and grill. In fact let me guess get some lights on actually. There we go. Uh, four burner hob and grill, uh, gas compartment is down at this point here, you notice down at the bottom there we've got some courtesy lights, uh, just if it's, cut, if it's dark when they get back to the van they've got uh, obviously uh, light when, they, when they're coming in, uh, we've got LEDs, strip lights underneath the lockers, this point here, sink and drainer and then moving down we've got the uh, the three-way fridge so that's running on gas, 12 volt and mains electric as well. Couple of drawer. More storage under there with the sink. And down at the bottom there, some more storage as well. Above that, uh, we've got some lockers. Uh, again, very deep, going to get plenty, uh, plenty storage in them as well. And we've got the uh, the roof vent over the top of the kitchen as well, uh, which has got both blinds and fly screens in there, and they are adapted 
to sit at what height you want them to sit. They're not uh, governed at certain positions. They've got uh, adjustable uh, points there all the way down. Uh, over the top there, we've got the, uh, the surgeon uh, control panel that you're probably familiar with now. And we've got uh, lighting over the top. In fact, let's get the rest of the lights on. Uh, so we've got the midi hickey over the top. Again, uh, blinds and fly screens on both. Uh, and then looking around, obviously we've got locker space going all the way down both sides and obviously at the front as well. Um, just behind uh, the shower here, we've got uh, wardrobe space there. And then just below that, we've got some more storage space in that one as well. So there's plenty of storage for a small vehicle. Uh, the bed set up, obviously two bench style seats uh, in the daytime and this will uh, pull across uh, to make up uh, a double and it's just over six foot wide so it's got a uh, decent uh, size bed that when it's made up. I'll, uh, I'll show you that made up later on and I'll show you uh, what's underneath the, uh, the seats as well shortly. Up with the front, uh, now on this particular model that we've got, the box that we make for this for the storage is a lot bigger than the new Rio one because um, obviously the front end fiberglass is quite a bit more um, but as you can see there's a lot of storage um, you can pack a lot in there uh, we've got, I don't know if you can see it or not there's a, a 12 volt and um, your satellite, uh, your TV aerial uh, points down there so you can place your TV in there while you're sat uh, these customers requested some um, some big three big cushions. I'm not overly too sure what they're for. Uh, I didn't ask the question, but normally these wouldn't be here, so you'd see a lot more storage area in there. Again, uh, locker storage. Quite deep storage. There's plenty in there. We've got switches. So we've got the LEDs all around. We've got directionals on this one as well. We've got a 240 and a 12 volt point there. Uh, the customer also asked uh, for a lift up uh, table if you will, uh, I'm not sure if what that's for, I'm not sure if that's for the t TV as well and we've got another one here, an extended flap on that side. So what I'll do, I'll, um, I'll remove the cushions and I'll show you what's under the beds. Okay so we've got the cushions removed, so have a quick look under here, so the passenger side We've got the uh, the water pump there, and we've got the uh, the isolation taps there for the gas, uh, with quite a bit of storage. Uh, we've got the sergeant system there. That's the battery to battery because we're on a Euro six uh, engine vehicle, and obviously we've got the leisure battery there as well. But still quite a bit of storage. We've got a door on the front there, so it can be accessed without lifting the uh, the cushions off and the the bed slats up as well. We move to the other side. So as you can see here. You've seen this before, so our bed system pulls across and that, that makes the bed up, that's as quickly as it is. So move that back, lift this up, so underneath here, obviously we've got the ducting for the for the heat and everything going around the edges. And there's still a bit of storage under here, uh, so this is a, a combi heater, so that's going to run off uh, mains electric and gas for both your heating and your hot water. So if you do get on site, you don't have to use your, your gas for your heat inside, and the control panel for this is here. Uh, the digital version. Um, so I'll get these uh, cushions put back and we'll have a look what it's like with the bed made up. Okay so this is how the, uh, the bedding area looks when it's made up. Obviously you saw me pull the, uh, the bed slats across before when the, the cushion was earned in. But that uh, is just over six foot uh, in length, obviously sleeping across and it's just over four foot wide so it is a decent size uh, bed for the, for the size of vehicle that we're in as well. So um, yeah, uh, we've got the uh, the boards on the side there, which are uh, uh, fabric, fabric material, obviously uh, quite cushiony as well. That's so you know if you if you turn over in night or anything like that, you don't get that shock of cold. It's nice and warm feeling. Um, but yeah, it's a decent size uh, decent size bed. As I said before, the uh, the customer actually requested to keep the double seat on this on this conversion, um, which obviously looking at it now, it looks like it would restrict uh, access from the cab area to the conversion area. Uh, this centre seat actually will fall flat um, 
with a lever just at uh, the bottom right hand side there. So it does give you the access if you need to, to get from the cab to the conversion area without uh, going around uh, the outside if, if needs be. Um, and also, uh, this is a second-hand vehicle. Uh, we do put uh, brand new conversions on second-hand vehicles if that's what you're looking for. If you're working to a budget, we can accommodate that. That's not a problem at all. As obviously you've seen, we do um, brand new uh, vehicles as well. Uh, but if there's something you're interested in, uh, you'd like some prices and things like that, if you could drop us an email, I'll provide all the details in the comments section below. Um, and just provide us as much details as you can and we can give you as much information back as well. But many thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye bye.